Another day, another Pokemon. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> it's my champ day today, so let's go and make that our favorite. Finally, a Pokemon that I can actually like maybe have some impact on. It's still not the best in the meta, but hopefully, we make it work. Um, anyway, let's head on over to the Unite DB for starters. Got increased attack by 10% for 5 seconds when afflicted by any debuff. Man, that's such a useless passive, no? So if I get like slowed or something, I get 10%. Okay. And the boosted attack with every third attack. This boosted attack decreases the movement speed of enemies by 50% for 1 second. Okay. <laughs> Machamp attacks in a straight line, dealing damage. To and then Machop buffs himself for 3 seconds, becoming unstoppable, increasing attack by 15%, attack speed by 40%, and movement speed by 30%. Initially, diminishing gradually every 1 second. Machop's next attack is boosted. Okay, so pretty much always bulk up into Karate Chop, and that's if secure in lane, if possible. Um, but then we got. Champ unleashes a barrage of blows in a targeted direction for one second, hitting multiple times and finishing with a single large strike. My champ is unstoppable for the duration and can move while using close combat. Unstoppable, I think, is really important. So, I, if I'm running away or, or if someone's stunning me, I don't get stunned. 25% additional damage if the target is affected by a status condition. And these status conditions, I swear to God. Champ dashes forward. Oh, a 6 second cooldown is also. Machamp dashes forward, dealing damage to enemies hit. Cross chop may critically hit and has a 5% higher critical hit rate. Cross chop further increases critical hit rate by 5% for 3 seconds on hit. Okay, so there's a, this like cross chop related movesets are very crit based. Machamp's auto attacks increases attack by 2 per target hit, permanently staying up to 40 times. So after you hit level 13, Every time you hit something, you get like a little stack counter, and then at the end, it's like plus 80 attack. I'll try and showcase it in one of the games, hopefully I hit level 13. Um, and then we have Dynamic Punch, which champ jumps to target location, becoming unstoppable for 0 0.5 seconds, stunning enemies for 0 0.5 seconds. Slowing them by 40% for 3 seconds, and dealing damage in four, 4 times in quick succession to the landing radius. Wait, 4 times? Machamp's attack is increased by 15% for 5 seconds and gains bonus movement speed of 40% initially, diminishing gradually for 3 seconds when using Dynamic Punch. Machamp's next auto attack is boosted mana, there's a lot to read. Increases movement speed by 30%, attack bonus by 5%, and slow by 20%. So my movement speed is quite crazy actually after this. Um, but this is sort of your engage tool and then you use either of these moves afterwards, at least that's how I've played it so far. I've never actually played submission, so... Champ becomes unstoppable for 5 seconds and gains 70% increased movement speed every 1 second by 20%. Or until the next auto attack, Machamp's next auto attack, during submission is enhanced, hitting twice and slamming the target down behind Machamp. If this attack hits, Machamp also gains 5% increased crit rate and 50% attack speed for three seconds ah i did not know that so these are both like crit moves i wonder if they work together i mean they must do but interesting and then we have the old 134 second cooldown it's pretty long actually it's like probably your last timer is like 330 340 it takes a minute and a half a minute 40 seconds to come back increase my champs movement speed by five percent Attack by 30, defense by 200, and special defense by 200 for 10 seconds. If used again, unleash a combo attack, dealing damage to enemies in the area of effect and shoving them. Final blow deals double the damage of the previous hits. Ult is really, really massive. If you get like 3 people in your ult, that's huge for the team fight. 30% movement, 35% attack speed, 20% max HP. The build, so cross punch, dynamic punch cross chop. Attack weight and double crit makes sense. Dynamic punch close combat has, doesn't rely on crit so much, so no scope lens. And cross submission again relying on crit. Um, 
and I guess auto attacks because you're autoing after your double crit you want to auto that makes sense not stacking on this crazy wait what are the stacking what are like the scalings yeah not that high I guess I don't know you get a little bit of lifesteal armor champ as well which is important to note at some point for your auto attacks um, actually you have it from level 5 on and then at level 13 you have 20% which is pretty big um, yeah and then your crit is at 20% at 13 at 9 even and at 5 it's at 10% that's good to know yeah I think that's about it then from a champs unite db let's test that out in practice tool and see how let's head on into practice tool you want to make sure you I think on my champ you pretty much always want to have crit and um Brown emblems, if possible. Probably brown and white if you're not playing the crit builds, but I think crit never hurts. Okay, let's look at how we have, how we clear. So you can see we do quite a lot of damage. We get quite a lot of crits. And we clear pretty fast. We can almost secure that from half without a crit with full cup as well. Um, that is a little bit too high. Let's try and put this in range so you guys know the range for secure. I think this now should be in range, right? Yeah. So it's like about 30-40%. We're unstoppable in this. So pressing bulk up is great because no one can CC you. So you have pretty good secure. And we go for scores because we're stacking. Okay, this is dynamic punch. It's just a little hop forward. You can see this thing underneath us. Hold on, let me take my cooldowns off. You can see our movement speed increases a little bit for a while and then it slows down slowly. Uh, you can use this to jump over walls. So that's something worth noting. So you can engage over a lot of walls. And this is sort of your engage tool. And then you press your karate chop to get crit. Um, one thing important to note is that dynamic punch flash is a massive engage option. And it's really hard to get away from. So you can always jump over a wall and then still flash. I think that was a bit slow by me. To get really long range on the engage and then your opponents get stunned and then you just auto away at them or use your abilities whatever it is so that's one important combo to test uh let's pick cross chop first so cross chop it's just a dash in a direction um i don't really know what the best way of doing it is right because you get a lot of you get crit for five seconds after cross chop. Usually you engage with dynamic punch and then cross chop and use your dynamic punch autos. Or like your boosted auto to get the crits off. I think you could probably also do this. But usually you'll start dynamic punch and then cross chop in and then get your autos going. Um, let's get to nine. And here we have our ult, which we pop. And then it gives us this sort of thing that makes us faster, has more defense, has more uh, special defense and more attack. And then the final bit of it looks like this. So usually the way you'd execute this, hold on, let me set up. You'd probably pop it in a bush. And then you'd look for some sort of engage. And use the finisher. You can also let the duration last for longer. It lasts 10 seconds. Um, you can always flash behind people and push them a different way. Uh, but yeah, the ult I think is a massive part of Machamp's kit. Probably the most important part, I would say, but might be wrong there. Um, I believe you can flash in the middle of your Machamp ult. So let's say my target dashes away, I can just flash after them. Or let's say, let's say I miss, I can always flash in and still hit them. Um, 
Okay, I think that's about it for bolt mechanics, and we get our plus moves, which just gives us more attack and movement speed. Oh, and then our stacks work like this. So you see it down here in the bottom left, cross chop plus effect. Every time we auto attack a piece of farm, we get a little stack up until 40. So once you're at level 13 late game, it's huge if you get to get to like a fresh V spawn. And then you can see my stacks are building up super fast. You can also see the life still popping up as I'm hitting things. And now I have 40 stacks, which gives me 80, 80 extra attack uh, stats. Okay, I think that's about it now from a champ though. Um, at least for this moveset. Let's test the other movesets. Um, I can do dynamic punch and close combat as well, just because why not. So this is what close combat looks like. Things are pretty much the same. You can also flash in the middle of your close combat. Um, so it's basically like a smaller version of your ult without the shove. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. There's, I don't think there's too much to say here. You're, you're dynamic punching into close combat most of the time. I think I prefer the cross chop moveset, but uh, it's not always great to rely on crits, so sometimes you might want to play this. Um, actually, yeah, let's just look at close combat plus. Alright, so if I'm stunned, it does more damage, but it's kind of hard to show that here. Um, okay, let's reset again. Test out submission. And cross chop, and then we have double crit. So submission gives us... It makes us unstoppable and lets us run faster. And then when we press our auto, uh, we sort of pull the enemy back behind us. It's quite a good engage tool to pull them into your team. And then with both cross chop and submission, we have... Um, you can obviously flash during it, you can do everything, you just run faster. I think potentially a good combo is submission into cross chop, and then you have increased autos for five or increased crit for five seconds. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's how it should work, right? Let me read up real quick. But increased crit rate for five seconds on hit, uh, or for, for three seconds, sorry, three seconds. So yeah, that's basically it. You can see how many crits we got there. Uh, hold on. You can also submission. Oh wait, you can't submission? If I press ult and then submission. Oh, it doesn't really work. It kind of cancels it, it, each other out, which is quite weird, I'd say. But yeah, I think that's about it for my champ. We can go to the plus move. Check out submission plus. It just gives us more crit rate. But yeah, you're very auto attack focused with this build. And again, you're building up stacks by just using your autos. Okay, I think that's it for my champ, though. Um, I think the mo most important thing to know is that you're sitting in bushes a lot trying to catch people off and trying to jump on them and then getting one shots on them with your autos or with your abilities. Okay, now let's head over to some games and uh, hopefully get some decent highlights. There we go, that's more like. Mewtwo gone for a while. No. Anyway, I'll just take this opportunity. You see in the bottom left, I'm 13. Now we're just stacking up 
our little counter. Wait. This is how the games have been going today, by the way, so no worries. We're one third of the way through, we've gone a 1 in 6. 1 in 6 with dynamic punch and uh, cross chop. Not a fun time, but uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we regain. It's, it's, it's literally, and I think with Mew, that's just the most prevalent. Okay, but my last hits right now are kind of crazy. I guess I should have been there. Okay, I think we figured it out. Cross chop is just fucking dreadful. Nice. Bomba! Holy fuck. Finally something on the scare. I don't think I want to take that back, personally. <laughs> Goodbye, um. Okay, that's a wombo combo. Goodbye, sir, you too. It was still kinda good though. Wombo combo was nice. Oh my god, that's also a wombo combo if I've ever seen one. Okay, good enough. Uh, three quarter to uh, two thirds away. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We won five out of seven games on uh, close combat, which is way better than the one out of six games on cross chop. So please, 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 please play close combat. And now we get six. Submission game. Come here, boy! You know what? Desperate times call for desperate clips. Oh, the sidestep! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's too good! Oh, he's too good! He evolves as well! Oh, no, 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 no. No! Ah! Oh, this is actually my best sequence on my champ all day. No. How? Someone? How the fuck does a clef get that through my ult? This is some sort of inhumane joke. Am I just... Oh 
Oh my god. Anyway, um, yeah, we're done again. It's been a, a rough, a rough two consecutive days. We went one, two, three. Yeah, we went one and six on dynamic punch uh, cross chop, and then we went. Um, Five and two on dynamic punch close combat, which seems to be the only playable move set. And then we went, oh, we went 0 oh and six with submission. Banger, absolute banger. Anyway, that's gonna be it for my champ episode. Don't play this Pokemon right now, but if it ever gets good, it's pretty fun. Thanks for hanging. 38k damage. Okay. 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 Who were you? Who were you? Who were you? Who were you? Were you the Mewtwo? Were you the Mewtwo? The Mewtwo? Mr. MNC? Wait, wait, wait. That was just a YouTube video. I gotta pipe up with this guy. I, I hope I get a reply here, right? Surely. Comes in, flames, says GG. Surely, right? Ah, come on, who are you? At least let me know what, what character you played. At least let me know what character you played. Come on. Can't just come in, flame, and run away. Ain't no fucking way he comes in. Ten thousand games, fucking hell. None of these guys were even that fucking ass. How are you doing today? Uh, harsh, harsh. Any, anyway, it doesn't matter. I do think I have to end. I'm gonna make food, Cal. If you want a queue, I'll be, I'll be around. Uh, I'll be around after some food, and I put my phone to charge and chill out a bit, and then I can queue off stream. Who do I raid is the next question. Take care. Goodbye, raisins. Um, anyone got someone I should raid? I can raid Basta. I'll raid Basta. French accent tomorrow, maybe. Tomorrow. It was for all of you guys. Thank you for hanging out, people. Goodbye, ladies and gents. On to better days tomorrow. See ya.